I'm Maggie Miller here at IoT World, and I'm with Basque Iyer of Dell Technologies, so welcome. Thank you. So you had a keynote this morning on a very hot topic, yeah. edge computing. So tell us, what was the big takeaway? Well, I was trying to tell the audience that edge computing is here to stay. You don't want to wait for this wave to catch up with you. It's already here. And there are three or four things you have to do right now, like set up, setting up the architecture, if you will. And then security is a pretty important thing for the edge computing. And then you have to set up an ecosystem with you know, your best partners. So that was the main takeaway. And did you have one impressive real-world case study of edge computing that you've seen so far? I always talk about this Mars rover. Because imagine there's a fabulous device that's moving around in Mars, gathering so much data. It has to work even if the cloud or NASA is not, connection is not available. So it's a classic case of good edge computing where you collect impressive data, semi-autonomous if you will. And then at the same time, you have to connect to the cloud to send the photos, otherwise it's useless. So I use that example far out in the, in the, in the space. In real world, the oil rigs that you have, the factories, I talk about remote factories, and how the factories have to work no matter what happens. You can't shut it down because the computer is down, or your internet is down, or your cloud is slow. Mm -hmm. So that's a good edge case. You want almost a cloud in a box in the factory that, can, that they can work with. How will the IT OT divide impact edge implementation? Yeah, the IT and OT is, is so different. And there's no such thing as OT. There's really no VP of OT for a company. OT is all over the place. They're operational technology folks. So I'm urging the IT folks to say, you know, you got to get involved. You have to identify the OT folks and get involved. In, in a lot of cases, the OT folks want to avoid IT if they can because they feel like IT will slow them down or they have security, the CISOs, and everybody gets into the way. So you got to get invited to the, to the party. Yep. And the way I get invited to the party is I take a, you know, a, a, a six pack of booze or something. You have to take something. And the, what I suggest people take is an architecture, you know, something on security. Don't try to slow it down. Yeah. Try to go there and make them go faster. That's what All I right. tell them. What a great analogy. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, just one more question for you. How will the 5G rollout impact edge computing strategy? I think 5G makes the computing ubiquitous. But the issue is 5G is depending, depends on where you think the edge is. The 5G operators think of edge as something you know, just outside your building, but they run the edge. You know, the factories would think of edge as inside their building. They control the edge. It's the same concept, you know, slightly different way of approaching it. 5G would actually accelerate it. You get, you get more reliable communications. So now you can actually do the things we've been trying to do for a very long time. So I think it'll be a good uh, accelerator for edge computing. Perfect. Well, thank you for your insights sure. and you. enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good.